Welcome to the Vulture's Nest. The Vulture's Nest. Where billionaire investors swoop down on your business proposals and peck out the eyes. Okay, um... Forget it. I'm out. Uh, uh, Vultures. Almost every kid wears a retainer and that is not cool. But this retainer is a D-lamer. Well, I'm very interested. I'll offer you three hours of my precious time for 90% of your company. Too late. 95. We've heard enough. Thank you for the opportunity. I love seeing people I know fail. <laughs> Do you want a beer, son? <laughs> There's a stain. Did that dumb dog pee on the rug? Oh, it wasn't a dog. I went on the rug. What? Uh, uh, Grandpa, is everything all right? I'm 86 years old and I'm falling apart like toast in a dishwasher. Grandpa, don't worry. We're paying the finest nursing home in town. Don't know what to do. We have no idea what to do. We specialize in keeping seniors from bothering their families. Mm. Grandpa, you're not staying on Skid Row. Yeah, that's shameful, shoving poor old people out on the street. Grandpa, you're a veteran of every branch of the service. The VA hospital will help. Aren't those hospitals the ones they called America's shame? A lot of things are America's shame, honey. Are you looking for high-quality health care at no cost? I know the place. Tell it to me in an anecdote. Years ago, I saw action in the Bay of Pig. Those Cuban doctors patched me up good, and for a lot less. How much less? Well, what cost 2000 here? Cost six bucks there. Nurse, cancel our appointment. I'm sorry, there's a fee if you don't cancel within 24 years. Oh! And we'll have fun when we get there. We can have plantains. They're like bananas you have to cook. Yum. I am finally going to put the Spanish I learned on I Love Lucy to use. Oh, Lucy, you need to see a psychiatrist. Excuse me, sir. We are perfectly able to pronounce psychiatrist. Now, there are 12 types of visits to Cuba that are legally permitted. U.S. business, Next. public performances. Never! Miss took us for Aruba. Is that that weird lettuce? You to smuggle cigars. You guys have cigars? I'm a journalist. I'm doing an article for my school paper. Here's one of my scoops. Hmm. You're in. Whoa, you can make money playing dominoes? Oh, we could go see Mario Hemingway's grandfather's house. Hmm, apparently he was a writer, like Mindy Kaling. Forget it, I'm done. And love locks it in. Now to just sit and wait for the end. How can anyone be so glum in front of that sign? <sighs> I don't like the way the birds are looking at me. Relax, viejo. Return the shirt after he, you know. Now this is a car. Razor sharp fins. Little triangle windows that weren't good for nothing. And a front seat you could fit all your newborn babies on. Would you care to go for a ride? A lung full of leaded gas and I'm better than ever. <laughs> oh, thank you. You've taken my dad back to a simpler time. Wow, that's the first time I've seen him get a woman's attention without flatlining. Now here's one that's been in our family for years. <laughs> Okay, so let me get this straight. This Paladar is a restaurant, but it's in a home? That's right. Look, Grandpa's eating like a horse. So you are enjoying the horse? <gasps> Gracias. ¿Cómo estás tú? Bart, you're using informal Spanish with someone who's not a family member. I caramba. Quiet, you kids. I'm watching Castro. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, 
Jasper, I'm eating a peanut. Three hundred extra pesos por la hermosa camarera. Yo no salgo con clientes. Another El Presidente cocktail, Senor Abraham. Why don't you let me buy this round, Abe? Wills McGrath, I knew you in the Air Force. I haven't seen you since you dropped that A-bomb off the forklift. Yeah, remember when it just kept rolling and rolling? <laughs> I, I hijacked a plane here in the 70s. Wow, did you have the chicken or fish? I had both. <laughs> Crazy! Listen, there's a place I want to take you. So, you just signed the papers and she's committed, huh? That's right. <laughs> That'll zap the sass out of her. Are you sure we had to take this route? Hey, I like hacking. Are you ready for the surprise of your life? Can you give it to me in stages? <gasps> it's all ready to open as a nightclub, babe. All we have to do is clean it up and hack a 50-foot-wide path to civilization. Okay, I'm in! Ah! We'll fix that. See? Fixed. Oh, it's about time! We leave it too! You leave it too! I'm staying here! But I can't even leave you in the park without you losing your wallet in a bush! It was an investment! Want to stay and be with your Cuban chica? She makes me weak in the knees. Well, what kind of father would you be if you left me now? Son, all you see in me is a burden. Think of me every time you don't visit someone. Aquí pensa panza gear. Con a twelve ciento por ciento. Con casar departamento. Y echar el pueblo sufrir. Y seguir de modo cruel. I'd like to speak to your black ops department. Right downstairs, Mr. Simpson. Thank you. Hmm, how do they know my name? This could take a while. Bam! Got him! Now you have to do a favor for us. How many baseball players can you sneak home with you? Well, I'd have to ask my wife, but I'd say 12. Bam! Done! Dead! And up he walks. What are you doing here? Abe, come with me to the cockpit. Miami, this is Jitterbug Justice bringing back an early bird special. Miami, do you copy? Uh, we copy. I'm starting to suspect you're not a simple Cuban bartender. No, I'm an undercover agent for the CIA here to recapture fugitives from U.S. law. Oh, thank God. Usually I can never sleep on planes. Sometimes I... I oh, that's the end of my Cuban paradise. And like every good thing in my life, I've already forgotten it. Listen, Dad, I know it was fun, but your place is with us. Not on some island in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. It's a beautiful day. Wanna hit the links? Oh, just like we used to. <laughs> I just painted a black circle on the green. Why, you little! <laughs> <laughs> Next on Vulture's Nest. We all know TV dinners, but what about toilet breakfast? your horses. I was up all night fishing out the drawstring from your father's swimsuit. It came out again. Then all that's left is to protect Maggie from the sun. Look, everybody. Here they come. We witnessed the return of the stinging red jellyfish. Daddy, why is everyone so happy the jellyfish are back? Well, in the old days, people thought jellyfish venom had curative properties. Now we know it just makes things a whole lot worse. Like laser eye surgery? Exactly. My tongue. Oh, what a magical evening. Mm, 
This is as romantic as the night I proposed. Hey, well, see, Captain, looks like you and I are sailing solo tonight. Poor man. This is his first jellyfish festival alone. I know, and it doesn't get any easier from here. It's the tongue kissing festival. Form of business. Excuse me, are you open? Mm-hmm. Open as a tomb on Easter. Now, what can I ding-dong diddly do for you? For now, I'll take a left-handed crimper. <gasps> Why, you are gorgeous. You don't know who I am, do you? I'll see you later. I'm here for a while, and I don't really know anyone. Would you like to have dinner tomorrow night? A woman asking a man out? Well, I've got a date with a girl with no name. It sure feels good to be back in the game at dessert. Maybe I can ask her her name. I've got a date with a movie star. Psst, Homer. Flanders, can a man just drink alone on a Wednesday morning? I need your advice. It's about a lady. Dara Sloan? The movie star? Yep. Why would that Twinkie want to go out with a ding-dong like me? Flanders, I mix Twinkies and ding-dongs all the time. In Europe, they call it a dinky. I'm sorry for the disguise, Ned. I just don't want to cause a commotion. Uh, excuse me, Miss Sloan. May I have an autograph? Sure. Oh, man, this is going right on eBay. Rod says Marco, and darn it if Todd doesn't say Polo right back. <gasps> oh, listen to me, just running my gums about my kids. You're probably bored silly. Sarah, there's something I've been dying to do all night, so let's just get it over with now and hold hands. <laughs> Sarah Sloan has been involved with every Tinseltown hunk from Affleck to Zamed. Yellow. Yes, I'm Ned Flanders' close personal friend. That's right, hot and heavy. They've never been happier. Oh, yeah, she does look pregnant. Shooby dooby, yes, yeah, shooby dooby. You guys are jamming. Oh, Daddy, she swore. <laughs> you know, I grew up in a house like this. Ned, I'm not sure you should open the door. Oh, now, if someone took the time to press that little button, this is the least I can do. Are you sleeping with Sarah Sloan? Is that mustache real? You plan to kill Sarah like your last wife? <laughs> Come on, let's concoct more lies. Kiss me, Diego. But your husband's animals are watching. Where do you think I learned to do this? <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. I want a rewrite with no nudity. All right, but you're going to have to kiss a woman. Deal. Ned, we won. Yep. Now all we got to do is turn that woman into a fella and that kiss into a game of Scrabble. Miss Sloan, I loved you in Sleeping with Pinocchio, and honey, I scotch-guarded the kids. Thanks. I grew really close to the actress who played my daughter. I think she's in France or something. Ah, uh, the paparazzi. I thought we fooled them with our share crow. Are you aware that your daughter's gay? Is it true you shoplifted a kayak? I'll have you know she pays full price for all her watercraft. Rainier Wolfcastle? My ex-boyfriend. You're too jealous. You beat up John Lovitz just because he presented me an award. Oh, come on. No one misses a handshake that badly. Sorry. I found someone nice who doesn't talk like a freak. Exactly. tickly tackly Your movie's wrapping up soon. I guess you'll be heading out on the first bus to the airport. If you ride with a friend, you can save 20 bucks. Ned, I know this is fast, but when I go back to Hollywood, I want you to come with me. Sarah, I'm sorry, but I can't move to Hollywood. Heck, even Dollywood's too far out for me. Too many people appreciating it ironically. Well, 
Then I'm staying in Springfield with you. Dude, was it like kissing a movie star? Would you like kissing a woman? Sure is nice to be shopping for a woman again. The last thing I bought for a lady was a casket. Sir, would you ask her sweetheart to sign her autograph for me? Well, of course. Wait a minute. This is to adopt two of your kids. Miss Sloan, how are you handling the change from La La Land to Blah Blah Land? Lisa, Springfield isn't a cultural wasteland. Oh, there's our ladies' book club. Sarah, you're more than welcome to come. Today's book is Bridget Jones's Diary. Now let's go around the room and analyze why we didn't read. Well, I wish someone had read the book since I did invite the author, Helen Fielding. Hop to it, honey. If we get to the Pops concert early, we can give up our seats to some old people. <laughs> Loosen up, honey. This dress just creates the illusion of nudity. Sarah, I hate to say it, but your top's upstaging the pops. Fine, I'll wear your stupid jacket. Sarah, I love you, but I, I get the feeling you're just not a Ned head tonight. Is something wrong? Actually, there is something. The time we've spent together has been wonderful, but I want sex with you. This is quite a dill diddly Emma. I better talk this over with the big man. Homer, Sarah wants us to have S-E-X. Look, Flanders, I'm always interested in talking about free milk. And if there's cookies involved, so much the better. Wow, that made me completely forget about Bob Balaban. Nah, that's what Maud used to say. Well, and you will, right after the wedding. Ned, I love you, but I'm not ready to be tied down. I love you too, and I always will, but unlike the Bible, I guess this ain't gonna have a happy ending. I'm sorry. Screen siren Sarah Sloan shocked Tinseltown last night with a midnight marriage to Gosford Park mega-hunk Bob Balaban. <sighs> this was followed three hours later by a quickie divorce. <sighs> hey, Hollywood. Call me. My number's on the bench. You know, it's the darndest thing. Women love you when you've dated a movie star. 